Alright, so let's go through the last checkpoint uh, of stable equilibrium. So a ladder of weight W right, rests against a vertical wall, meaning that it's in equilibrium. So which diagram actually represents the possible direction of the forces if the ladder were not slipping? Uh, okay, for this question, uh, actually it's rather tricky. Uh, no? Okay, so in order to not to, I mean, in order to be in equilibrium, you must pass through the same common point, meaning that the three forces, right, the line of actions must pass through the same common point. Apparently, I look at A and B, the three forces doesn't pass through the same common point. So A and B is already. Okay, what about C and D? Uh, C and D, actually, if you draw the line of action, uh, you can see that uh, option C actually pass through the same common point, and of course, option D also pass through the same common point. The next thing we must uh, see uh, whether they actually form a loop triangle. Uh, so for example you look at option c right? i draw the i draw the so-called the three forces they actually form a you know a continuous triangle okay what about option d option d also form a continuous triangle for example right, if i draw okay the vertical wall so this is the first force right so vertical wall uh, then after that the w is vertically downward and last but not least the ground right uh, the ground actually exit in this direction okay so which one should be the correct answer uh, so if you choose option D, congratulations, this is the correct answer. But because of why is op uh, of course why is option C not the answer? If you think about this, right? Okay, I erase this first. Okay, so apparently, uh, you look at the vertic the so called the vertical wall right here. So there will be two forces. Uh. So assuming that oh there is a normal contact force and the frictional force, right? The normal contact force will be in this direction, and the frictional force uh, must be in this direction. Because the ladder uh, will need will like slide down on the vertical wall. Means that the frictional force must oppose the sliding down motion, which is upwards. But uh, if you so-called like do the you know resolving of vectors, right? The resultant force that the vertical wall actually acts on the ladder is actually in this particular direction. Uh, but apparently they actually show this direction, right? So hence this is wrong. Uh, so this a uh, vertical wall actually give the answer away already. Uh, so W don't need to say. Okay, what about the ground? The ground uh, actually is in the uh, correct direction because apparently right, the normal contact force is in this direction. Uh, so this uh, purple color is the normal contact force. The frictional force uh, is in this direction because you must prevent the ladder from sliding away. Uh, so so the, if let's just say there's no frictional force, uh, the ladder will slide in this direction. Right? So meaning that the frictional force must be in this direction. Uh, so of course when you do the resolving of vectors, the direction uh, will be in this direction, which is consistent uh, with our theory. Uh, so but uh, the vertical wall actually is wrong, the direction of force is wrong. Okay, what about option D? Okay, option D, uh, you look at the vertical wall. Let me just erase this first. Okay, look at the vertical wall, apparently it's uh, horizontal, meaning that it's uh, actually a smooth wall. Uh, with no friction so this is okay so meaning that uh, this is okay this is acceptable uh, then what about the ground the ground actually has a normal contact force not just that there's a frictional force uh, so in turn right you resolve the vectors uh, the two uh, so-called forces right the resultant force will be in this direction uh, so this is actually correct uh, so the answer for checkpoint 14 actually is Denmark